Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. In this video, I actually want to show you how I shop for Arduino and Arduino related stuff, and especially the Arduinos that I recommended in the previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, just check out the link in the description below. So, if you want to buy an Arduino, your best bet is to go onto eBay. You could use eBay, AliExpress, or Banggood, or whatever you'd like, but I would say if you're just starting out, you should probably use eBay because they're the easiest to navigate and they have a lot of sort of buyer protections. You do wait a long time if you order directly from China, but you do get the best prices at the same time. So if you're a student, you don't have that much money to spend, this is the best way to do it. So in the previous video, I recommended to buy an Arduino Uno. So I'm just going to type this in, Arduino Uno, right up here, and press enter. Now, what I do is I usually just pick whichever seller has the cheapest price, unless the prices are all around the same. Like, I won't agonize over a cent or two. But to do that, you just hit buy it now here because you only want auctions you can buy outright. If you do want to bid, go ahead and just select auction, but I'm pretty impatient, so if I want something, if I know what I want, I want to buy it right now. And then I'll go price per shipping, lowest first. Because you have to actually factor in the shipping cost. Some of these things will be like 99 cents, but you know, $10 to ship. And you can see everything's already in my local currency because I am using eBay.ca, but you use ebay.com or .co.uk or whatever is your situation. Then the next thing I like to do is to scroll down all the way at the bottom and select 200 items per page. So that gives us the most scrolling speed or the most uh, the fastest to be able to find what you're looking for. Now if I scroll down from the top here, you'll notice that right away, look at that, latest version Uno R3, CH340, etc, etc. So I'm going to open this in a new tab, and then we're going to take a look at what this actually is. Okay, so it looks good, right? 99 cents US, Canadian dollar 33. But then when I actually select the uh, Uno, you see the price climbs up to $4.69 Canadian. That's because they have a multi listing and their only thing that's 99 cents is this USB cable right here. So you got to be careful with that, but this is not too bad because we're going to we know that if we find Arduinos above $4.70 Canadian, that won't be a good deal. So let's go back here. Let's scroll down and I try to avoid a lot of these listings. I'm going to scroll pretty quickly. The multi listings, they're always listing something quite a bit cheaper, which is not actually what we're looking for. So I'll ignore all these $2 things. You could get a case for your Arduino. That's pretty nice. See here, there's two two items again, but $2.55. Let's check that out. Let's see what that is. So $1.90, that's the ESP12E module. And how much is it for the Arduino board? Oh, with the chip included. Interesting. Five dollars and one. So that's not what we want. We want to keep going. And this takes a little bit of patience, but once you actually get the hang of it, you can sort of ignore all the noise and go right to the signal. So we're up around uh, four dollar mark now. So we should be seeing the Unos pretty soon. So let's see. What do we have here? Nope. ESP two eight six six. That's not it gonna keep going oh interesting this one here has a bunch of them so let's go take a look what this one is so uh, that's the Dewey Milanova I believe that's way expensive uh, Uno with the CH340 yeah that one's a bit expensive though six dollars and five our first uh, result here is actually better Let's go back. We're going to close that out and go back. Keep looking. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like we're getting close here. So I'm going to open the new tab. 
Oh, no, why is that so expensive? Yeah, that's uh, in Europe. That's a no. Maybe here? Are we getting close? There we go, $4.37. So, so far, that's the cheapest that we're able to get. So I'm going to put two of these in my cart. There we go. So this is as cheap as it's going to get for us today. You'll see that with currency fluctuation and new listings and whatever, it might be cheaper or more expensive um, from one day to, an, to the next, but this is a pretty good indication. It probably won't change by more than about 20 cents. So that's that's pretty good. So now we have our main prototyping Arduinos, the Unos. Let's try the DigiSpark. Type in DigiSpark and OK. And then again, buy it now and ship price plus shipping lowest first. So let's try this one here. Let's see what they're trying to sell us. So we can actually shut that. There we go. Model. So this is just the chip itself. One piece, $1.87 for the chip. That's not too bad. Let's see. There's the whole board. And this is actually not bad. $2.34 each. I think we can get them cheaper, but we'll keep that open. I like these too. These are pretty nice, but that looks like this is just straight up the price. I don't see any... Yep, there we go. So it's just $2 Canadian with a make offer. Now, if this was me, I would make an offer. Well, you need to sign in, so let's not do that. I would make an offer to, to order 10 of these because these are the little guys, remember, that you can just put in a miniaturized project. I would order 10 of these and maybe make them an offer for a dollar sixty each. And then you get a little bit of a, a deal, right? You order 10, so he gets to sell more, and you get a little bit of a cut off the price. I've done offers like that, and sometimes I offered too low, and they still accepted it. So... You know, it's really up to you. Just feel it out. And you can see there's a few sellers like that. This guy's a little bit more, or best offer. But there you go. So you can get either this style or this style here, this guy here, with the little micro USB. And in the previous video, I showed you both. Before, you could only get this, this kind. But now the DigiStump, they, they have this revision. So now eBay has this revision. But again, all this project is open source. The Arduino project is all open source. So it's okay if a Chinese seller makes them in bulk and, and sells them. But if you like the development of these things, you should go and buy one directly from the source. So this is how I order Arduinos. So let's just say we would go put 10 of these in the cart. Add to cart. And now look at this. For $30 Canadian, I'm going to get 12 microcontrollers, two that I can prototype and keep on breadboards, and then 10 that I could solder into uh, projects and leave them in situ because I would much rather, like let's say you do a project for a relative, I would much rather leave them with a $2 microcontroller and keep my prototyping microcontroller rather than making this guy the permanent installation. I think that about does it for this uh, shopping video. I hope you liked it and found it interesting. And once again, thanks for watching.